Calvin and Hobbes is considered by many to be one of, if not the greatest newspaper comic strip of all time. For those that don't know, the strip follows the titular Calvin and his pet tiger Hobbes, who may or may not just be a stuffed tiger doll. Calvin is a mischievous kid who just likes playing pranks, causing chaos, and adventuring with his best friend. Running from 1985 to late 1995, the comic series captured the hearts and minds of countless people for its hilarious writing, relatable characters, and amazing artwork. Any other artist out there would see big marketing potential with this level of success and would want as much merchandise of their characters as possible. But the strip's author, Bill Watterson, was a different kind of artist. He wanted to keep the sanctity of his work and would rarely license any Calvin Hobbes merchandise. Of course, he has the Calvin Hobbes books, which were a collection of the comic strips throughout the years. The continual sales of these books are why most people still know and love Calvin Hobbes today. With 19 books in total, you know that Bill was already doing pretty well for himself. But few people know that he also released two licensed calendars with original art of Calvin Hobbes as well. One from 1988 to 89 and one from 1989 to 1990. These are worth a pretty penny nowadays, being that they were such a limited run and people back then probably did not keep calendars around longer for the years that they were for. Now these are rare, but not nearly as rare as his next product. Was it a Spaceman Spiff action figure? Or maybe a stuffed doll of Hobbes? Nope. It's an officially licensed textbook for school children. Teaching with Calvin and Hobbes was a collaboration between Bill Watterson and Playground Publishing. It aimed to teach children about speech and language pathology. The book came about after teachers were telling Bill Watterson how effective his strips were in teaching children with learning disabilities. The book has 57 Calvin and Hobbes strips in it, each with its own lesson attached. The idea was for the children to read the comics and then answer questions based on morality and problem solving relating to the stories. But the truth is no one really cares about the contents of the book. What's way more interesting is the insane rarity of this thing. Teaching with Calvin and Hobbes had a very limited run in Fargo, North Dakota. Being that it was a children's textbook and didn't even have Calvin and Hobbes on the cover, meant that the book went under the radar for most fans of the series. The Calvin and Hobbes collecting community is already starved for officially licensed things to collect, so the price of this rare book has skyrocketed. In 2009, a copy of it sold for $10,000. Price evaluations have ranged up to $34,000 in the years since. A copy of the book is almost impossible to find, especially in good condition. It makes you wonder how many kids had this book in school and were just doodling butts and robots on it not knowing that in a few years it was going to be worth more than their parents' car. According to WorldCat, there are only eight libraries in the world that have a copy of Teaching with Calvin and Hobbes, including the Library of Congress. There are very few listings for this book currently. The only ones I can find are about $40,000, and they get sold up pretty quick. When I started writing this video, I saw one for $20,000, and it is already gone. Talk about a good deal, am I right? This is funny when you think of other cartoonists, such as Jim Davis, slapping Garfield on any product that he could, making himself a billionaire in the process. A school book with Garfield in it would probably be worth about three cents today. But I believe that Bill Watterson succeeded in keeping the sanctity of Calvin and Hobbes alive, and that's what makes the strip and the artist so special, even today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you thought it was as interesting as I did. I know every YouTuber asks you to do this, but if you could like and subscribe, that would actually be amazing for me. I loved making this video, it was very fun for me, please let me know if you'd like to see more stuff like this in the future, I'd be happy to do it. Thank you to all my patrons as well, if you want to join the Goose Army, you can start for as little as $1 a month, and that will totally help me out because I am making $0 from YouTube right now. Alright, thank you very much, and have a wonderful day.